Previously on Making the Squad. Shoot it! Yeah! You can feel the pressure a little bit. Can he put it away? This is serious now. Here, there's 10,000 euros. But I really don't care. I want the number one. put the contestants up together in the center of Berlin for the duration of the competition. After a few days, some were getting on better than others. I'm probably the most annoying because I'm always singing and giving people nicknames and stuff. It looks like you suck. I don't really find anything anyone else has done annoying. I'm definitely probably the most annoying. So what do you think is going to happen today? I just wish today it can be something like going to the spa. Yeah. <laughs> going to the spa. <laughs> what they're about to find out is this ain't no spa day. I called the contestants to an old factory on the outskirts of Berlin for the second IRL challenge. This one was designed to push them physically. This challenge for me is all about the five S's, which is strength, stamina, skill, speed, but most importantly, the last one is spirit. We're here to test what FIFA streamer has the best physical condition. So bearing in mind, last time I pulled your leg, I told you um, that two people were going to be eliminated. This time it's for real. Is everyone ready? Yes! Okay, okay. They wouldn't be alone as I'd enlisted the help of pro footballer Island Yadden to coach them through the school-based football obstacles. Having played for some of Europe's top teams, as well as Turkey at an international level, she's no novice when it comes to an audience. I didn't have a clue what was going on here, so I let them have a look for themselves. One, two, three, four, five. At least Aylin knew what she was doing. This one's simple. One to control it, one to put the ball in the back of the net. In and out of this one. I had to show them how to do the last one, though. Oh! Well, that, that was an accident. I didn't, mean, I didn't actually mean any of that. But whatever you hit on the target, I'll deduct that from your time. For this challenge, Ruski was benched with an injury in a Volta match. The rules are simple. Whoever posts the fastest time through the course wins, letting them pick tomorrow's head-to-head -head lineups in the dome. On your mark, get set, go! Luckily for these guys, the producers were keeping the right time. I really messed this up. Come under the ball, come under the ball. Yeah, three, four, five, five, yeah, keep it, keep it, keep it. Hey. Hey. She's not doing that bad. Hey. In and out, the agility, she's good. Dive through that. Your time's really good at the moment. We have a Brixton boy, the commoner. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, take the ball, don't forget the ball. Oh, flipping out. Even with Ireland's coaching, these guys were still terrible. Terrible. He's done it, he's done it. The wall of death. Oh, he's missed a lot of the wall, he's doing well. Yes, one. Good touch, good touch, good touch. Three, go, 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 get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Quick pass, toe punt it. Yeah! Go on, Jay. Go on, Jay. 
strong. It looks easy. It's I'll hard. be honest though, you absolutely smashed that wall of death. The way you leaped over was yeah. flipping awesome. You got a time of one minute, 20 seconds. Lucky, are you ready? Go! I actually started it on time for once. Doing all right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, leave it. Jumping over the wall of death. He's gone for the leap. Oh, he took your technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go next. He missed it. Nice. One and two. Oh, come on. On the second challenge, One. I was running and then I didn't see on the right because my head was right on the, on the task. So rather than going to the next uh, part, I skip through. Take your time, bro. And the last one, come. Come on. Come on. I think he broke his neck. Go on, Santin! Rafael! Okay! Go on, Santin! That's easy, bro. I tried to go with everything I had. And I was so excited. Yeah. I tried to go straight for the line. Yeah. That was my target. You got a total time of one minute and nine seconds. Santi, you are in the lead, my friend! Six, 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 six. As you know, the winner of this challenge gets to decide who goes head to head in tomorrow's lineups. So, the scores are as follows. In third place, with a time of one minute and two seconds, we have Rose, the Wave King. In second place, Armenia, with a time of 54 seconds. And our winner, once again, for a second time in a row. Make some noise for Javon! He got a time of 53 seconds. So, Javon, come and join me here, brother. You get to decide who goes head to head tomorrow. My matchup, I'm going to pick Ice Cult. OK. Game number two, who's it going to be? It's going to be Peke against Amenya. Amenya! Charles against Daniel Crunchy against Run Milo, and then, as you can Once see... Again. Once again! We have Rosé versus Basti for the last game. Tomorrow, two of you will be going home. And only one of you can have the 10,000 euros cash. So take this serious, and good luck to you tomorrow. My name is Miriam, but people call me Milo, Milo, and I'm 26 years old. I'm Stockholm, Sweden, but I'm half Persian and half Norwegian. I love football in general. I'm a football fan in heart. I grew up in a neighborhood with people from all over the world. It was like a challenge to find your identity, who you are, because even though I'm born and raised in Stockholm, Sweden, they still not gonna see me as a sweet. That's what I think is important for people like me to have a platform. I always got back to gaming because of like a community. I like to play with people. I'm not the kind of person who will sit alone in game. For me, it's like a, a social thing more. As a streamer, it's not just about your skills in the game. You've got to have some tricks up your sleeve to engage your audience. Okay, so basically, our dear friend Becky over here is doing a magic trick. The screen is here, yeah. So look, all you need to do that, one second, oh, we have the card. And this yeah. is the... Oh. And the most important no. thing is... We don't care, we don't care. Sign no. no way. Did you guys see this? Of course, yeah. Meanwhile, Crunch is trying to figure out where Javot's magic comes from. Look at all this, all out the codes. Out, oh, like, look, one, two, three. How many of the hell are you staying here, bro? Everything's got to be organized, in place, you know, harmonious. Maybe he's a strategist, maybe he ain't. <laughs> organized, as I've said, taking notes. Ooh. Oh, oh my God, God. Oh, my oh. notes. <laughs> got a lot of things. I've got FIFA, sort of how to play better for myself. So I've got 
I don't know, attacking down the wings, holding the ball up better in the midfield and stuff like that. So I also, I also analysed uh, the players' weaknesses and strengths in the house to, to know what, what works and who's better and who's not. Yo, it's my <laughs> name there though, right? Hey! To drive home just what is at stake and to give them a taste of a future that could be theirs, I have called them all into the Pringles playroom. So has anyone noticed anything different about the room? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is deeper than just any like Pringles can though. Take a look at it. Oh, you got your name. You got your name. Right. Just pass them around. I envy you guys. It took me three years to ever get my first merchandise deal. It's more than just thinking about how you come across now. Mm. On screen, you're representing a brand, a massive organisation. Whoever does win this competition and you do sign to G2 Esports, the opportunities are going to be endless. Like, this is just a glimpse of what one of your futures can be like. What was it yeah. like when you got your first brand deal? What was your feeling? For me to be real? Yeah. I cried. I cried. It's like the first time you actually achieve something that you yes. wanted to, oh. it's mind blowing. <laughs> Bro, I cried, my mom was, mom, no. Because when I was coming up, my mom definitely didn't believe in what I was doing. My mom, I don't know, well, uh, maybe you don't have a Latina mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got one, so you, I can relate. So, and I'm like, mom, I made it, finally. <laughs> mom wants the best for you, and she wants me to go to university. I did university, I didn't like it. I prefer content creation, and I dropped out of uni. When I create something, I feel like what I'm doing actually means something. Bear in mind, two of you are gonna go home tomorrow. Whoever does go, just bear in mind, you got to this point. Do not give up on your dream, just keep on going. There's always gonna be hurdles and obstacles, but you just gotta keep on pushing. Guys, the competition continues, and this is just another aspect that is just important as everything else. The morning of the competition, and it's the last moment of reflection before the action. Today will be a hard day. I'm playing against Jason. He's one of the best players here. He also won both of the IRL challenges. I'm not the best here. Um, I'm more the real-life footballer. And so this will be a really hard challenge. This is the level world of gaming! So last time, the teams were picked for you. This time, you get to pick the teams from the cup. So, I'm gonna start with you, the commoner. Pick out your team. Okay. Man City. Ruski, please place your hand in the cup. Read out your team. My Man. team is Liverpool. Ooh! Amenya. PSG. PSG. Ooh! I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Piamonte Cats. Oh. Santi, AKA Crunch. Barcelona. Yay! Bayern. Bayern Munich. Real Madrid. Dortmund. Dortmund. To my eyes, Rose. Man United. Chelsea. Yay! Our first match today, the Commoner versus Ruski. I'm a total different kind of player. They all like do these little tricks and stuff, but I try to go tactical in this and have my midfield safe and try to pass around the ball a little bit and bring the ball to the box and finish. Let the games begin! Yeah. Early goal in the 18th minute, one nil to the commoner. Play it in. Oh. Now delivering that deep cross. Now this is different hey, levels of FIFA, I can't lie to you. In with a chance! Oh. Made it look easy. 2-0 up and looking comfortable. That's for my mum. Let's go! And that's the final whistle. Commoner 2, Rusky 0. Rusky, what do you think happened that game? I think oh, it was like the wrong way to go for the match. Yeah. Uh, I should have like uh, uh, changed my, my, tactics. My, my tactics a little bit. You seem to play with music. I do. I have to ask, what songs is it you're playing 
songs that remind me of a trip with my girlfriend to Thailand. Just takes me to a different place. Oh, you know? oh that's lovely. Our second match of the day was Amenya versus Pekka. When we're in the dome, that's when you go full sweat mode and bring out the tactics. Chances on. Peke had an early chance to take the lead. Is it going to be? Ah! What a genuine opportunity. But Amenya took it 1-0 up. Ah! Come on, tranquilo, hermano, tranquilo, hermano. Half time. Opportunity. And it was another one for Amenya, and he had something to tell the crowd. Ah! And no wonder he's off celebrating. And it goes! Three goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Amenya cemented his lead going 4 0 up. A goal! An exceptional performance! Four to the good man. And Peke gave Amenya even more opportunities. Referee. Penalty to Amenya. Right, 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 right. Right, right yeah. And the penalty yeah. is converted. Oh, that was cheeky. Peke scored a late consolation. Well, they called one back. Oh, and it goes! But Amenya scored again, sending out a message to the rest of the players. Final score, Amenya six, Peke one. Peke, I've got to start with you, my friends, man. What happened today? He was better than me. He was skilled than me. Mm. I need to accept the reality, so. Amenya! Yeah. Yes, sir. No banter, no talking over the thing, no music or nothing, just lights out. Peke is my boy, I love him to bits, but in the room there, it's not about being mates and I've got bad goals, that's what I do. Hey, our third match of the day is Crunch versus Milo. People always ask me, like, how is it to be with so many guys alone as a girl, but being the outsider, just, I always did my own thing, even if it ended up with me being alone. Can they get themselves in front here? And with that, we have a gentle quarry, the keeper. It was a tight affair early on. Oh, Crunch fired his side ahead with a beautiful volley, 1-0. Second half and Crunch consolidated his lead. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion down! And six minutes later, found a third. A goal! A fourth goal gave Crunch an unassailable lead. Milo pulled one back in the closing minutes. But the final score was 4-1 Crunch. I feel like you've improved so much uh, since the last game against Armenia. When I was like, okay, let me try to score, that's when I scored. See? Like in the second. Um, Santi, talk to me. So at first I was like, to kind of find my momentum, you know, when I'm yeah. a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> to find his rhythm. That's it. So I was like, shh. I my rhythm little by little, <laughs> making, sure, making sure I could get it, and then over time, like a little engine, we started running. Wicked. So, but, like, aye, he's, 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 word, he's word plays mad, just start writing songs. Our fourth match of the day was Rosé versus Bastian. Bastian is the guy to beat. You have to beat the best if you want to be the best. And he did what he had to do defensively. Can he put them in front? Nine minutes in and Rosé took a 1-0 lead. And will it be the leveler? Goal! Come on, guys! Then an equaliser from Basti, 1-1. Big chance. Yes! Oh, yeah! And a goal it is to put them in front again! 2-1 Rosé. Oh, could be! Basti wasn't out of this yet. 2-2. Basti beat Rosé once more. Final score, 3-2 Basti. Our fifth match was Ice Galt versus Javor. I want to keep uh, the top players on their toes. As long as I keep winning these, I can just, you know, get to the podium. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Ice Galt got off to a great start. Superbly done! Playing with purpose and control. Yeah! But Javor got himself back into the game with a screamer. And he's through here. Yeah! Come on! And a clinical strike put him 2-1 up. And he put it away. And the goals kept flowing. 
Ice Cult was feeling the heat. It's almost a case of whatever they've touched has turned to goals. Come on, that's it! 4 1 full time. With all the results in, we head back to the Pringles Playroom where we will share the bad news on who will be eliminated and leaving the house tonight. You all know why you're here. Two of you will be going home tonight. You'll be packing your bags and leaving. In third place, we have Basti. You obviously won your game today. Did you know you was going to be safe? Or? Just based on the games, yeah. I thought I was confident like, in being safe, but that was a hell of a tough game. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. That was really he tough. squeezed it last second, <laughs> literally. In second place is Charles. An interesting fact, bro, you was the only one not to concede any goals. I mean, it feels good because obviously people here are like good players, you know, so like the shout out is nice to have. So at the top of the leaderboard, we have Armenia. <laughs> How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, obviously, I'm not, not aware if it's about goal difference or whatever at the time, so I was just there, like, let me just bag as many as I can and yeah. hope for the best. Like. And now for the hard part. With one goal, five conceded, and a goal difference of minus four, the first person that will be going home is... Miriam. The second person to go home with one goal and eight goals conceded with a goal difference of minus seven. It's Kevin. Don't let this affect what you guys are doing. You know what I mean? This is just a little hiccup. I've had so many in my career. Just please stay focused. Don't let this affect what you've got going on in the future. It's been absolutely lovely to meet you. Oh, brother. You're good, man. You're safe, brother. Kevin, it's been a pleasure meeting you as well. Pecky, man, don't cry. Guys, uh, pack your bags. You will be leaving tonight. Um, and yeah, say your goodbyes. Losing the first two in this competition is not lost on the other contestants. The two eliminations have actually put us all in a top spot because it could happen to any of us. But tonight it happened to Milo and Ice Guts, whose chance at making the squad ends here. One of the biggest things that I will take away from this whole experience is to just get out of my comfort zone more, more and try new things. Another thing is the inspiration from all the other contestants, the hardworking people, and we're doing similar things even though we're so different. If I'm coming home with all the experience from here, from learning from the other contestants, I try to, to learn by seeing or listening, and this is why I think from my first game to the next, I blew up. Next time on Making the Squad. Well, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Mine, I get this out of my face. <laughs>